Hello and welcome to my new tactics series, uh, best tactics ever, and this is going to be an introduction to that series. Uh, first of all, I'm going to be using Barcelona as a base. Uh, the Barcelona are going to be only involved for the first uh, five episodes. Uh, this is because I think Barcelona. Um, well, I'm going to first the first five episodes are going to be my tactic tactics that I've used in Football Manager 2011. The ones that I find the most reliable, the the best to use. Uh, and the ones I've, I use in different situations and the f ones I find the best. Uh, so Barcelona, I felt, were the best team to use for this because I think they suit the formations that I'm going to use, uh, that I'm going to show you as well. So um, that's why I've chosen Barcelona. Uh, and as I said, the first five episodes are going to be my tactics, tactics that I've used, uh, the ones that I find the best. Uh, personally, the ones that I continuously use and... Uh, I, the ones I keep uh, continue to build on using different teams, how I adapt them, uh, that sort of thing. Um, uh, I'm gonna in this series. What I'm gonna go over is uh, first of all the general shape of the formation, where they're playing, the role, the duty. You know, so yeah, the role here, duty. Um, and then I'm gonna go into advanced player instructions, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, some of these things obviously to certain preferences. Like, if I have a winger, like I don't like him just to to, to hug the touchline. For example, like I prefer. Well, it depends which kind of player you have. I mean, the, you got players like uh, Nasri's. People like Nasri's are not natural wingers, so they tend to drift inside. So I prefer him, and he he's the type of player can score goals as well. So I, I prefer him to drift. Oh my god, I don't know why that's happening. Uh, <laughs> uh, I prefer him to drift inside. So you know that sort of thing. And also go obviously obviously team instructions, uh, philosophy that sort of thing advanced, uh, and everything to do with that. And obviously, I can't go over that. That's just down to the team. Uh, also match preparation, which um, for me I pretty much use the same every time. You know I, uh, yeah. So I'll probably sh I'll do them for the first five episodes. I think. Uh, and I'll also explain how you can adapt. Oh, why does that keep happening? I'll, I'll also explain how you can. Sorry. <laughs> I'll also explain how you can keep adapting them, you know, to your team and uh, and and different situations as well. So uh, that's going to be a sort of overview for the first five episodes. After that, I would like uh, comments in the description for this video, uh, giving me uh, teams. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you different tactics for different teams. Uh, for example, um, I want them to be sort of popular teams. Teams that people like to play with. You know, uh, more I'd prefer teams, you know, that you sort of need to adapt their tactics. You know, sort of tr teams that you actually have to try to win the game. You know what I mean? So not Barcelona. Uh, maybe Man City. Maybe United. Because, you know, they haven't got the best of teams. Uh, you know, their, their formation pretty much suits a 4-4-2. Uh, if you're looking for something different, something that can uh, ign spark your team, something like that, then, you know, uh, I want sort of teams that, you know, popular teams that people like to use, uh, but you need to try as well. So, you know, like, for example, in the Spanish League, Villarreal, Valencia, Sevilla, Atletico, but then we can also have Barca and Real, you know, just to mix it up now and then. And then you know all actually if you if you mention any of the Premier League teams I'll pretty much do them you know I know all the Premier League teams off the back of my hand uh, and I, I could just do them like that so yeah that's what I want is uh, comments uh, giving me names of teams maybe you maybe you've just started a new uh, football manager game maybe you're struggling maybe you're you know Stoke or something and you're you're struggling then put it in the comments and I'll I'll, I'll go I'll uh, research Stoke and I'll I'll show you what formation I would play and what I would do. Uh, to sort of get the best out of my players. Maybe you could tell me, you know, maybe you need help. Maybe you could tell me what formation you're playing and maybe what I, I could maybe tell you to do to it. What I could maybe do to tell... Well, well, I've lost my words here. <laughs> what I could do to maybe, you know, help you. Uh, maybe what I could say, uh, give you advice on how to adapt that formation. That sort of thing. I need to slow down. That was way too quick. Yeah, so that's a, that's an overview for uh, this series. You know, also one other thing for the teams, you know, I think... Most popular things are like Spain, Italy, and England. Don't give me teams, you know. <laughs> Don't give me a team from Kazakhstan because I'm not going to know them, and I probably won't be interested in doing them. You know what I mean? Look at the only player on here you could buy is this guy. Bloody hell, he's got 16 finishing. That's pretty good. Who is this guy? 
He's got one goal in one game. And he's got 7.3 rating. That's really good. What the f... I might have just found a hidden gem here, lads. Take a look at this guy. He plays for... He's playing for Kazakhstan. Uh, if you click on Kazakhstan, top team there, Tob, uh, Tublin or whatever, uh, he's the only player you can buy. What the? F <laughs> 16 finishing. What the hell? Anyway, that is going to be the end. of gone off on so many tangents. Here's another one. I've just started a new game to get this series started. But anyway, that is the end of this episode, and I will see you next.